two pretty good shots from the uh, Zaxter here. Finger club. Really? We're in a wee bit of trouble down here. Alrighty, we are here at Inverness Country Club. Country Club or Golf Club? Country Club. Country Club. This is my boy Marshall. He runs the show out here, pretty much, yeah? Kinda, kinda, kinda. been here for a few years, so. Yeah. So, appreciate you having me out. Yeah, good to have you out. We've got a fun little eh, challenge, you know, course vlog-ish type video today. So, here are the ground rules. We're gonna play nine holes, match play, no strokes will be given, However, every time I win a hole, Marshall gets to steal a club out of my bag, gone for the remainder of the round, never to return. And Marshall's clubs will stay in his bag for the whole nine holes. So yeah, that's, that's the deal. What that, are your thoughts? That's the deal. You know, I've got a little bit of a strategy. I think uh, you're gonna be surprised at what my strategy is. I think a lot of people would assume uh, a certain way to go with uh, what clubs I'm going to take, but I'm going a little different method here. So we'll see once we get into that. Assuming you win any holes, get to take any clubs. Uh, trash talking. Um, counting on Zach, win a few holes. Uh, you know, some of us work for a living. Zach plays golf for a living, so uh, we got to do something to even the. Is that a bad e thing? E even it out here. So uh, we'll, we're going to see what happens. All righty. Yes, we're going to go ahead and uh, take you to the first tee. Well, we're here. We're just kind of sitting in the cart next to the tee box. Hole number one, we're gonna be playing the front nine here at Inverness, ready to tee it up. And um, you never wanna lose a club, but I wanna lose a club here on the first hole. Well, let's go. Number one here, par four, plays just under 400 yards from this tee marker. I'm gonna go ahead and let Marshall let it fly. Pretty straight par four, kind of bends just a little to the right, but you know, pretty dead straight down central. Bleeding just a little right, but uh, kicked right on down the hill. Should be just fine. Good shot there. That was hammered, by the way. Marshall's ball landed somewhere right up in there, rolled down. He's right down here in the fairway. I don't know if you can see it. There it is, right there. Marshall has about 125 yards here. Middle pin. He has hit it well. Left side. Like I said, hit that one very well. Have about 70 yards left to this front middle pin. Let's knock it close, get that bird. Two pretty good shots from the uh, Zaxter here. There's still two putts left here, so we'll see what happens. Not a bad roll. This is a putt to lose a golf club. That is gonna be one golf club down, but we are one up. Tweeter on the first hole. All right, so a lot of people would think, you know, take the driver, which I thought about. The problem is I could take the driver, but, but then Zach would just use his uh, beloved Stinger Club and still put it out there 280, 290, whatever. So I'm actually thinking opposite. I'm starting the other end uh, I'm going to start taking wedges, so uh, we're going to get rid of the old uh, lob wedge first. However, one caveat, Marshall cannot take my putter. It's the only club he can't touch, and that club is uh, in there. One up through one, lob wedge gone. Part five, number two, playing about 530 yards from this tee box. Another pretty dead straightaway hole.
We have Marshall here, about 250 yards out. He hit it very well, leaking just a bit right. Oh, it just clipped those tree branches. Kick down to the left though, should be just fine. Found our ball. It is sitting down in the rough. Have a little over 200 left to the green. Probably gonna be a flyer. Let's give her a rip. There's where I landed, there's the hole. It trickled all the way off the back. It did land firm. I was 230 yards, actually chose to hit a seven iron from back there, just off the back. Decent look here. However, no 60 degree, that would be very useful right now. And we're gonna have to go with our sand wedge. Marshall has about 65 yards left here for his third shot. Coming in on a great line. Ooh. What a shot. Well firm, 54 degree, doesn't quite have the loft of the 60. Had some technical difficulties here. Someone called me, it stopped the recording, did not capture me making the birdie putt here on two. Marshall here for birdie, see if he can't tie me. No pressure. He has got ice in his vein, folks. Ice in his vein, folks. Marshall has come to play today. Not yes. gonna make it easy on you. 155 yard par three, number three. Just a little bit. We'll take it. Pin high. This is me. That's Marshall. Three, four, Marshall. Whew. That had some break to it. Didn't quite see that. Three for me. All right, so we got a par four here, little dog leg to the left, uh, playing around 370. A little less than driver needed here. Uh, I got a feeling we might be seeing a stinger from Zach. Heading a little right, should kick down for him. What do you got, Marsh? 161, not where you want to be on this hole. He is down here in the rough, right about there. 161, hopefully he doesn't catch a flyer. Back edge of the green, not too bad. Might have caught a little bit of a flyer. 132 yards, little choke gap wedge from here. Pin is in go zone. Oh, I thought that was so good. A little short and uh, yeah, just a little short. There's where I am, landed right about there, just trickled down the hill. Not a bad shot, just a little short. Marshall is there on the back edge right there. Lengthy putt ahead. Not bad, I'll take it. That one looks like it's gonna come up just a bit short. Got a little work to do from there for his par.
are for me. On to number five. We've got a two up lead. All right, decided to get rid of this finger club. Really? They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't. Well, it would have been really good if I had uh, recorded it. It's okay. Best story of all time. Marshall's a little disappointed with me. Best drive of the day from him, right down central, and I forgot to hit record. He hit it very well. This is a par four. How far is this hole, Marsh? 398 is on the plate right there. Driver in hand, dead straight away, goes up and then back down the hill. We're in trouble. That was right. That's in the middle of the trees. We've got some scrambling ahead. Yes. 145 pitching wedge in hand down the hill about, you know, five to seven yards. For everybody at home, comment below, what club would you hit here? Kind of lost it in the sun. Zoom in to see if we can't see it. Did not see it. Maybe just a hair left. I believe possibly in that bunker. We're in a wee bit of trouble down here. But I do see a gap. We, we've got a shot. Oh, be good. Sit down. We were coming right through those trees right there. As you can see from the video, landed a bit long, almost out of bounds, but we are in. Need to get this up and down. Not too bad with the sand wedge. No 60 as an option had to lay that sand wedge wide open this is going to be slow straight up the hill and 18 feet 20 feet left that was a really bad read um yeah thought that was going a little left and it uh went a little right that would be a bogey five for me here on five. Uh, thought I had you. My heart was pounding right there. Two up through five, four to play. Stay in the air. A little short left. Par three, number six, 190 yards. Stinger club's gone, lob wedge is gone, seven iron in hand, should be a go zone. And we'll see what we got in the tank. That's a Good shot. There's where it landed take that didn't really want to miss it left didn't have a whole lot of green to work with there that is pretty good right there this would be a devastating putt for marshall to see this one drop and it's going to Let's go! That is what we like to see, the bounce back birdie, three up, through six, three to play. What is Marshall taking out All of right, here? We're going wedge. Another wedge is gone. Two wedges and stinger club, par four, straight away. Number seven, 
par four, a little over 350 yards from this tee box. Dead straight away, driver and hand. short of the green just like we drew it up marshall 85 yards left here little wedge in hand a little long back edge that other ball right there is matt logsden's he joined us for a few holes Had a couple bad misreads. However, we we're gonna tap that in. We just need the two putt from there. That's a four, par four, and I do believe that is the match, sir. Marshall's staring me down right there off camera. So, yeah, we're done. We, Zach, uh, uh, Zach got me there, you know, started off uh, hitting it okay. I uh, had a couple rough shots there in the middle. I, uh, had a bogey and a birdie, one over, and um, Zach closed me out after seven holes. So, wasn't too disappointed being uh, one over through seven. And uh, but Zach, was, she wrote. Zach was rolling in the birdies on me. So, the birdie uh, on six was very pivotal in the match. Very pivotal. Yes, that that was a big one. That was a big one. So, three and two. This match is done. Let us know in the comments below, would you like to see this in an 18-hole match? Because I do believe the further in this match that it goes, the more difficult it would get on me, for sure. I think so. I think, uh, you know, I think after a few more holes, could have gotten a couple more wedges out of your hand, maybe a little more difficult. I do uh, believe. Coming in. Yeah, the wedges were dropping like flies there towards the end. And, uh, you know, that was a lot of fun. Let me know if this is a challenge type match that y'all enjoyed. Logs is over there just stripe showing it, by the way, just hitting it straight down central here on number eight. It's a par five. Unfortunately, you're not gonna see it in this video, but I'm hoping to do a couple more YouTube videos out here at Inverness. Thanks so much, Marsh, for having me out here. It was a lot of fun. Rolled the rock on a couple holes and then really didn't roll the rock on a couple holes. Definitely uh, some misreads for sure. Had a lot of fun, hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like down below, subscribe below, and comment what you'd like to see in future posts. Would be greatly appreciated. And y'all, until next time, we'll now see the real you. Match starts.